Fairy Tale 323. Okay, I like this chapter. Was it great? Better than good, but I liked it. There's a lot of elements in there that I actually like quite a bit. This is really what I was expecting last week. I was hoping 322, the double issue, was going to be something like this. Maybe a little bit more. But uh, but then again, if we'd have gone any more in this, we would have been, you know, we, we got, he closed it. I, 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 I really criticized him for not closing out the last issue strong. I didn't feel it was. This was good, the reveal. Let's go right to the end, right? The reveal, I mean, the beginning and the end tied together, right? There, there's Rogue and there's Fro, and then in the chapter, he's like, you know what? It's he, He's like, he's been sitting on the fence. He's not been happy with the whole saber tooth vibe, you know, he doesn't like it. So he's finally said, you know, okay, I'm going to the good side, all right? It's all the power of friendship, you know, he's, he's made his commitment. He and, of course, Fro agrees to, and then the whole thing about him being the one that knows everything. I, I like that, I like the way Hero did that, making everybody think it's Lucy, it's not, and Rogue. See, this, what's so great about this is who predicted this? Okay, who thought that it was going to be Rogue from the future? But if you think back, the whole thing with the shadow thing that we didn't understand, there's a lot of stuff about Rogue that we don't understand. So it isn't, it isn't like, well, I'll just pick a character and it'll, I'll make them that it. it make, to me, it makes sense. You know, I don't know what your feedback on this. So it works. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the... Let's go ahead and jump around, then we'll jump into the chapter itself. Okay. Uh, the whole thing, okay, the beginning, uh, there, there's a lot of little things in here, okay, the huge celebration stuff, I won't go into that, and the, uh, the first uh, Guildmaster kind of sort of maybe giving yourself a little too much credit, but it's, I mean, the amount of, uh, they're getting the adoration of the people they've competed against, so it isn't just winning, it's winning in a way that the people you compete with respect you, so there's a, there's a strong respect element, at least most of them. And uh, and what and, and how this is all of they didn't get into it how this is going to play out in Sabretooth, right that's not going to go over very well and uh, I I'm not so sure that Minerva is is going to let Lecter off easy you know what I mean I think that she's going to try try to try to lay down the law so yeah but really enjoyed uh, the whole thing going on here now team. Not to. Now that was something he really telegraphed. Hey, as long as we have magic, we can do whatever. And then, <laughs> right, you know, no, we don't have magic and we have problems. So that was pretty interesting. But the way they get saved, right, is the the shadows, right, and this person from the that person from the future, rogue from the future, right. So you no, know, so Lucy from the future how exactly why she was lying and all this and who and who else is from the future team July now is is active they they see they're gonna they're definitely gonna be jumping into the mix here so we're gonna have a a lot of uh, we're just gonna have everybody really getting the whole thing then they referred to the Eclipse gate as from the Zeref book okay so yeah okay so we're okay all right so that, all right, so that makes sense. And Arcadios, I predicted it, that he's a good guy, at least as of now. Okay, and uh, there, was, there was some stuff in here, him saying Lord Zareph and this and that. And, and even in here, he's, you know, Arcadios is like, well, you know, we probably got to kill that guy. I guess we don't have to kill that guy, which is part of the plan, so things can move on. And, of course, as it plays out, you know, who's the person from the future, and the row, I liked the way this was dealt with. I liked the way this was handled, and this was just done really well. I, I'm really this is this is like I say, it's not great. It isn't. It, it needed something, some other element in it to be great. Okay, and maybe that element was some action, but uh, that probably would have would have done it right there. But this this was a really good chapter, and the, and the more as I go back over it, I really appreciate it more. It's not a chapter that I'm going to reread a whole lot of times or something like that. It's not. But um, we we get some answers. We get more direct. We get a lot of, um, I guess, decent answers. Not like, you know, to huge stuff, but uh, except for Rogue. But you, you see what I mean. It's a, 
it's a good uh, chapter. Also, okay, let me go ahead and close up on this part of it. The way Rogue looks. Whoa, the, the tattoo, okay, and the hair, and the, the and so, he, let me just wait, even if he's a good guy there to save him, what kind of complexity, you know the shadow thing wasn't like purely good, so there's, there's probably some, you know how the whole thing is with power, right, typically, um, in, well, manga and life, whatever, that, that, uh, it's not just the corrupting aspect of it, but that you, you trade right for power and typically there's some negative effects for that so this looks like rogue has turned into a really complex character who probably if he uses too much of his power or there's some kind of balance he's trying to maintain or something so anyway this looks like I'm really excited about it the more I think about it the more I'm enjoying you know uh, this chapter is sort of percolating or whatever. So anyway, what do you think of it? I really liked it. I, this was, um, uh, I guess the thing that for me that really put it over um, to, for something to really enjoy is the surprise. It's, it's rogue, um, th that reveal and the complexity of what seems to be there. Well, anyway, maybe I'll close it out because I'm kind of geeking out. I'm really enjoying it, actually. All right, anybody <laughs> could be an anime fan. Anybody can be a fairy tale fan. You can always subscribe. You can always unsubscribe. You can do anything you want to. Until next time, take care.